You might recognize some of those songs. The first show of the new Broadway season is Broadway as you've never heard it before. Holler If You Hear Me is based on the music and lyrics of the late rapper Tupac Shakur. CBS 2's Dana Tyler talks with the actor and poet who plays the lead character in Broadway's first hip-hop musical. And that's actor Saul Williams and the cast of Holler If You Hear Me performing the title song in a story about despair and hope in the inner city. And Saul Williams is with me. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome and congratulations on your Broadway debut. Uh, thank you. At the it's Palace Theater. huge Theater. honor. Yeah, it is. I am sure it is coming from Newburgh, New York, <laughs> right? Good for yes, you. Yes, it is. It beats a lot. This story, too, is really an important note in Broadway history, yeah. in arts history. Tell me about the story of Holler If You Hear Me, well, Saul. The story, as you know, um, is inspired by the lyrics of Tupac Shakur, but it's not biographical, and it's the story of an ex-con who uh, goes back to his old hood, attempting to make a change in his life, and ends up changing his community. You know, I, I had spent some great time with Tupac's mother and his brother. His brother was telling me about how he and Tupac were on the... the theater club, in the theater club at their high school, and how him and Tupac used to nerd out listening to the Les Mis soundtrack, you know, and his mother, on the other hand, tells us about how, you know, that she was, of course, a part of the, like, civil rights movement and the black power movement, and she talked about how, you know, the revolution would not happen and could not happen without the theater, and I think this play is really representative of those ideas, you know, from Pac nerding out on theater to, you know, that revolutionary spirit, which is in his lyrics and, and in, you know, his character. You find that in Holler if you hear me. Miss, let's be honest, a lot of people only think of the end of his life. Yeah. Of course, it's of murder. course. So much was obscured, you know, through the media about, you know, what happened surrounding his death, you know, but uh but to think of the fact that he died at the age of 25, and you know, we can find released over four or five hundred songs of Tupac, books of poetry, films that he did. You got a big cast here. Yeah, yeah, it's a cast of about 25 people on stage with us. They're all super talented, super passionate about this production. I think that's one of the like most moving things about being a part of this production is that everybody who's involved is so thankful and honored to be on Broadway telling a story that actually means something to them. And and the communities from where they're from. Language, let's also just put that out there because of the way. Oh, yeah, in the same way that, you know, the Book of Mormon or Avenue Q have language, so does this play. Let's listen to one of this, another song because the differences in music, the way Tupac's music and yeah. lyrics are interpreted. This is you, Ben Thompson, and Christopher ah, Thug's Jackson. Thug's Mansion. Thug's Mansion. Yes. Every corner, every city, there's a place where lots of little easy little Hennessy. They pack and cool every hour, cause it's no good. Leave all the stress from the world outside. Every wrong done will be alright. Hey, nothing but peace, love, street passion. Every ghetto needs a thug mansion. Without giving away the plot, Saul, what a beautiful song there. Thank you. Tell me about the three of you and, and just because the challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh. you know, well, well, Griffey, uh, the guy playing the guitar, owns uh, a car repair shop. And if, as many people may know or may be able to imagine, it's hard to find a job near release from prison. And this is a guy that hires me. But we end up having, you know, a bit of a dispute around payment. Tell me about this for you. It's just, it's, you're, it's perfect role, job, uh, privilege, honor. You you are well known as a slam poet, performer, actor, musician. You've done a lot of things, been um, uh, awarded at Cannes, at Sundance. Yeah, I mean, you know, but really my first love is theater. And I started uh, doing theater at the same time that I started writing rhymes. And throughout my entire life, I was always fusing hip hop and theater. That's how I started writing poetry. That's what led me to like my first film, Slam, and so many other enterprises I partook in, you know, through writing and, 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 uh, and, and recording. And so this play really is a culmination of all of the things that I love come together in this place that I grew up attending. I, I grew up attending Broadway shows. You know, my life has changed 
audience when I saw Sarafina mm -hmm. on Broadway in the 80s. And, and now, you know, I feel privileged to be a part of a production that I know will change the lives of those that come to see this. I can tell you by the audience uh, with uh, whom I was sitting, just a variety of people, yeah. ages, colors, backgrounds. It was a real experience. It's for everyone. It's for everyone. It's beautiful, you know, and, and, and it ends on that beautiful note of what, you know, what Tupac said, you know, there's no need for you to fear me. If you take the time to hear me, maybe you can learn to cheer me. Saul Williams, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Really interesting to hear about the new Broadway musical, Holler If You Hear Me, which has two performances today at the Palace Theatre. Back